What's up? Happy Friday. Evan here from Stock Music Musician. Thanks for taking a look. Um, today I'm going to show you two features new in Reason 9 that will take your productions to new levels um, that are going to make you able to do things that were either not possible in previous versions of Reason or that were just kind of a pain to do. So the two things that I want to show you how to do are how to convert audio into MIDI and then use that to create quick backing tracks. Uh, that you can then build off of. And then the second is going to be how to do a really cool ending uh, by pitch shifting using uh, the pitch shifter that's new in Reason 9. Um, so I'm going to show you what those two sound like, then I'll show you how to do them. Um, now, granted, this audio bouncing or the bouncing, the audio to MIDI, I don't love the sound, but I think it would have uses in other places. You'll hear it, it's this yellow track here, and I converted basically his vocals into um, some sort of marimba type sound, some xylophone. So let's take a quick listen at that. Let's solo those two uh, so you can hear what's going on here. So you can obviously make that a lot better by editing the MIDI a little bit. It gets you started, and I'll show you how to do that. But first, I want to show you what the ending sound is that we're going for. So let's just take a listen to how the sample here sort of pitches down an octave and gets distorted. All right. So um, if you like this at all, be sure to hit the like button at the top of this page. And be sure to subscribe for more interesting content on Reason 9 and just songwriting and recording in general. So let's dig in first to how you would create um, an easy accompaniment or how you would rec uh, convert audio to MIDI. So the first thing you do is select your audio track that you want. And this is the important part. You have to switch the stretch and transpose type from all around into vocal. If you use all around or if you use melody, and I'll just show you what happens, and then hit bounce audio clips to MIDI, all it does is export the rhythm, but it doesn't really do the pitch. So listen to what that sounds like. So that's not that great. I guess you could probably use that uh, to trigger some sort of drum or um, percussion sound, maybe if you wanted some easy accompaniment. But instead, what we're going for is a sound that, well, let's just delete this track here. Instead, what we want to do is switch the stretch type from all around to vocal and then hit bounce to MIDI, audio clips to MIDI there. And now when we listen to this, you'll hear the timing isn't going to be perfect, but it pretty much captures the melody. So then from there, what you can go and do is um, pick, let's just go to the other window here, um, pick a sound, for example, that is more I don't know, harmonious, like uh, a mallet's mix. Let's see how that sounds. So you get a really easy ability to create a harmony. I need to edit that a little bit to get it better, but this is a really quick and dirty way of doing it. And then if you wanted to make this into chords, um, check this out. Click the player in. So you can easily get full on chord arrangements out of this very quickly. I'll show you another example in this song. Um, None of this is what I would, I, I like how I recorded this song, still need to do a few more things, but um, we've got this arpeggio guitar here. Um, 
why I don't have it here. Um, because the guitar bus is muted. That's a that's a to the mixer here. And I think that might sound good if that was also um, part harmonizing with the piano. Uh, so I'm gonna I switched it to a vocal part, and now I'm gonna bounce the clips to MIDI. Um, and so now we're gonna have. guess not everything works with this. You've got to be careful. Um, still, it would give me a start for where I would convert. Um, but this is still a cool feature where you can do some new things that were not possible. And I'm sure there's all sorts of fun things that you're going to figure out to do with it. Now, the second thing I want to show you here, um, and if you haven't hit like yet or subscribed, I want to take a second to encourage you to do that because that really helps me out. And so here, at the very end, you'll hear how this sample pitches down. So now let's deconstruct how we get that cool sound. And you can uh, do it. I've got a smaller version of the song right here. Um, so let's just zoom out a bit. So what I did was cut the clips into different parts. So we've got So right there, it's just held out as one long note. But I'm going to hit the R button and slice it one more time at the very end. Um, so now we've got two slices. Let's just set the loop to here. Now what I'm going to do is take the second loop and use the transpose feature in the sequencer here to transpose it down an octave, or 12 steps. Um, so now this is 12 steps lower, and we'll listen to what that sounds like. Well, that doesn't sound great. So then what we need to do is go into the pitch editor. And this is where the new features of Reason 9 come into play. So what we need to do then is take this pitch note here and change it from C2 to C1. So now this is also down an octave. So let's listen to that. Almost there. Now we take this cross fade, which is how the pitch gets there. And now let's take a listen. What the hell is going on here? Ah, and the final thing is the foreman, which is going to shift the sound a lot. So let's try going down with the foreman a few. So there it goes down by five. Now let's try doing the foreman down a whole octave like everything else. And that's how you get it. So you can shift how long you want that fade to be. It can be really quick using this blue handle here. Or you can make it really long. And then you can also choose how much vibrato you want. Um, and how fast the transition lasts. This is the same as this blue button. And also how much um, you want to preserve the original sound. So if we go zero, listen to it. There you hear it get to the final sound much quicker. Um, so yeah, those are two really quick, dirty uh, ways of adding interest to your song in Reason 9 by using the sequencer. I um, just wanted to take this opportunity to sort of share some of the fun new tricks that Reason 9 is opening up. So I hope you enjoyed this, and have a great one.